this one goes from a very pretty light purple into a darker blue. And this is the cake here. It started off as a 875 yard or 800 meter cake. This is from Hersner's. They sell these by the bag of two. They call them self-striping cotton cake millens. They could be 100% of cotton or they could be a cotton metallic or a cotton acrylic. It, de it depends what's in the bag because these don't have labels on them. Um, it's a too fine sport weight. And I didn't even use an entire cake. This is what I have left of it. Plenty left to make something else gorgeous. So they also don't have a colorway on here. And I used a 3.5 millimeter hook. You'll need a couple of stitch markers. Of course, you'll need scissors. Also need a darning needle to weave in your ends. You may want to add beads on the drawstring. I just added one simple bead on each one. So you'll need another needle possibly that will have a small enough eye to go through your, your bead, unless your bead has a big hole, of course. And I used the threader to pull the yarn through the needle to put the beads on. And in this tutorial, I also use a small safety pin, and that's what I hooked onto the end of our drawstring to make it easier to weave it through. I will be making this one in the tutorial. It's the exact same pattern as the one I just showed you. I just used a heavier weight yarn, which is a three weight. It was much easier to handle behind the camera with a thicker yarn. And for this one, I used Caron Skinny Cake. And it started off as a 795 yards, 727 meter cake. I did not use the whole thing. I have this much left. It's a light three weight, 100% acrylic. The colorway is Butter Mints. And I actually went up a hook size. It suggests a four millimeter, but I went up to a five millimeter because I want it more loosey, lacy, you know, want the breeze to be able to flow through it. And I did add just one bead on each one. They don't even match. <laughs> So if you want to add beads, make sure you have some beads handy. You probably have some in your stash somewhere. What do you think? <laughs> okay, let me just let you know <laughs> that we're going to be starting off with a chain. Your starting chain is going to be the neckline. And you're going to work in rows back and forth. The garment is going to grow wider and longer at the same time. So that's how this garment starts. All the details after that. Are in the video so I hope you like this I absolutely love how this turned out so have fun and I, I hope you enjoy this thanks everyone okay we're going to start with a slip knot on our hook okay if you're curious about the band-aid it's just really cold here in Winnipeg and the end of my finger the skin cracked from the cold so <laughs> I put Vaseline on it and a band-aid and some washi tape we're going to make a chain of 84. There are no multiples, it's just 84, okay? I have my chain of 84. Now in the second chain from the hook, right here, we're going to put a single crochet. We'll be putting a single crochet into every chain all the way to the end of this row. And when you've completed your single crochets, you will have a total of 83 single crochets. I'm at the end of the single crochet row, and I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work, and now we're going to put one double crochet into that very first stitch. And then we're going to put one double crochet into the very next stitch. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. Go in that fifth one with a double crochet. Chain one, two, three, four. 
chain three, one, two, three, go in that same stitch with another double crochet. Okay, then chain four, one, two, three, four, skip four, one, two, three, four, go in the fifth one with the same thing, a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. It's a double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet. Okay, that's what we have so far. Double crochet in each of the first two stitches, chain four, skip four. In the next stitch, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain four, skip four. In the next stitch, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. And now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. In the next stitch, we're going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And this will be one of our four corners. Okay, so that was a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet back in the same spot. Now I'm going to mark that corner, I'm going to mark every corner, all four of them, with a stitch marker so they're easy to spot when we come back around. Okay, now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to do the same thing we did here. Okay, we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. Go in the next stitch with a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Okay, and again chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip four. One, two, three, four. Go in the next stitch with a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Okay, then chain four, one, two, three, four, and then we'll skip four, one, two, three, four, go in the next stitch with a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So this is our second corner right here. A double crochet, chain one, a double crochet in the same stitch. So I'm going to mark that one with a stitch marker. I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to be making these double crochet, chain three double crochets, but instead of making two like we did in the beginning and then the next section we made two, we're going to make three in this section we're working on right now. All right, so skip after you've chained four, skip four. One, two, three, four. Go in that next one with a double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet in the same stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four, skip four, one, two, three, four, go in the next one with the same thing, a double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet. And one more time, chain four, skip four, one, two, three, four, go in the next stitch with a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Okay, 
Okay, now we have three of those. This is the middle of the back of your capelet. I'm not sure what I'm calling it. You'll see in the title. We're going to do another corner. So we need to chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip four. One, two, three, four. Go in the next stitch with a double crochet. Chain one. Double crochet. And mark that corner. So that's our third corner. Now where we've put two, I, these are V-stitches as well, but they have a chain three in the middle. There's different types of V-stitches. So the chain three V-stitches, we have two there, we have two there, we have three here, and now we're gonna make two here, and then we're gonna do another two after that, okay? So chain four after your corner, one, two, three, four, skip four, one, two, three, four, Go in the next stitch with a double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet. Okay, chain four, one, two, three, four, skip four, one, two, three, four, go in your next stitch with a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. And then chain four, one, two, three, four, skip four, one, two, three, four, go in the next stitch with a corner. So that means a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Okay, I'm going to mark that corner, that's our fourth corner. Okay, then chain four, one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna make two of those chain three V stitches. All right, so skip four, one, two, three, four, four, go in the next stitch with a double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet. Okay, chain four, one, two, three, four, skip four, one, two, three, four, go in the next one with a double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and a double crochet. And then chain four, one, two, three, four, four, skip four, one, two, three, four, you'll have two stitches left, put a double crochet into each of those two stitches. Okay, let's recap what we did. Okay, in the very beginning, we put one double crochet into each of the first two stitches chain four, skip four, next stitch, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain four, skip four, the next stitch, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, so that's our two chain three B stitches, and then we chain four, skip four, and in the next stitch we made just a regular V stitch, a, a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then we marked it with a stitch marker. Okay, then we did that again. So we have two of these chain three V stitches, another corner, and then here we did the three chain three V stitches. Okay, then we did a corner, so that's our third corner, and then we did two of the chain three V stitches, did our last corner, and again two of the chain three V stitches, and at the end we put one double crochet into each of the last two stitches. Go on to the next row. We're going to chain one. 
and turn. Now in every row is going to start with a double crochet in each of the first two stitches and it's going to end with a double crochet in each of the two last stitches. Okay, so let's put our double crochet in that first stitch and then a double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, now we have this chain four. All we're going to do here is put a single crochet around that chain four. Then we have our chain three V stitch right here. We're going to put seven double crochets in that V stitch, that chain three V stitch to make a shell. Okay, so seven double crochets. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's repeat that. So we have a chain four, we'll put a single crochet around it, and then we'll go into that chain three of that next V stitch, right around the chain three, and make seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we have another chain four here just before our corner. We'll put a single crochet around that chain four. And then we're going to go into our V-stitch corner. We're going to put a V-stitch in there, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then we're going to chain two. And then we're going to put another V-stitch, a simple V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So what we have in that V-stitch is a V-stitch, a chain two, and a V-stitch. The next thing we have is a chain four. So we're going to put a single crochet around the chain four. And then the next thing we're going into is this chain three of this V-stitch. So we'll put seven double crochets around that chain three, or into that chain three V-stitch. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have a chain four next, we'll put a single crochet. Always put a single crochet around the chain fours. We have another of those chain three V-stitches. So we'll put seven double crochets in there. It's one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> Excuse me. Six and seven. A chain four, so we put a single crochet around the chain four. And then we're to a we're up to a corner here. So we put a V stitch, chain two, and a V stitch right in the middle of that V stitch. Okay, so Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then chain two, and then in the same space, we put a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. You can move your stitch marker up if you like. And we're up to a chain four, so we'll put a single crochet around the chain four. And then we have our chain three V-stitch. Put uh, seven double crochets in there. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Okay, we have a chain four. Put a single crochet around that. We have a chain three V stitch. Put a put seven double crochets in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we have a chain four, so we put a single crochet around that. We have another chain three V stitch, so we put uh, seven double crochets in there. Then we have a chain four, put single crochet around that. And then we're up to our corner, our regular V-stitch. So we're going to put a V-stitch, chain two, and a V-stitch in the same space. Okay, so that was a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then we'll chain two, go back in that same space and make another V-stitch. So that's a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Okay, I'll take you right to the end of this row if that's okay. All right, we have a chain four, so we'll put a single crochet. We have our chain three V stitch, so we'll put seven double crochets in there. One. And then we have a chain four, so we'll put a, a single crochet around it. And then we have a chain three V-stitch, go right in the center, put your seven double crochets. Then we have a chain four, so we'll put a single crochet around the chain four. And now we're up to our last corner. We go in there and make a double crochet, a chain one, a double crochet. So that's our first V-stitch in the corner there, chain two, and then make another V-stitch. And then we have a chain four, we'll put a single crochet around there. And then we have the chain three V-stitch, put seven double crochets in there. Okay, now we have a chain four, so put a single crochet around the chain four, and then we have another chain three V-stitch, so put your seven double crochets in there. And then we have a chain four, put a single crochet around the chain four, <clears throat> and now we're at the end of this row. We have two stitches left. We'll put one double crochet into each of those two stitches. This is how it's looking. We have those two double crochets in right in the very beginning. And then we have our shell, two shells. Then we have our corner, two shells, our corner. Then we have three shells, our corner, two shells, our corner, two shells. And then our end with our two double crochets. It looks like three, doesn't it? But it's only two. Let's go on to the repeat rows. We're just going to be, it's just a two will repeat, it's these rows we just did here. So we're going to chain one and turn. And then now, like I said, it looks like three double crochets there, doesn't it? This is actually our chain, let's see, our chain four that's wrapped by a single crochet. Okay, so kind of ignore that one. Okay, here we go. First stitch, a double crochet. And our second stitch, a double crochet. Now we'll chain four. One, two, three, four. Now we want to go into the middle stitch of our shell. 
So we're going to count over four. Now, if you look at it like this, this almost looks like our first stitch, but it's not. It's that chain four from the row be below. So our first stitch is here. So count that one, two, three, four. So we want to go into the fourth stitch, which is the center of our shell. And we're going to put a double crochet chain three and a double crochet into that same stitch. Okay, so that's our chain three V stitch like we did down here. We need to get over to this other shell. So we'll chain four, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to count four stitches. One, two, three, four. Go in that fourth one with a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Okay, so that's what we have. And then we'll chain four. One, two, three, four. And now we're up to our corner. So we're going to put a V stitch in the first V stitch, which is a double crochet, chain one double crochet. And then we're going to go into that chain two in the middle and put a V stitch, a chain two, and a V stitch. Okay, that's a V stitch, chain two, and a V stitch. Then we have this next V stitch. We'll put a V stitch in there. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to count four double crochets in that uh, shell. One, two, three, four. You go in that fourth one with a double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet. And then we'll chain four. One, two, three, four. Count over four double crochets in our shell. One, two, three, four. Go in that one, that fourth one with a double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet. Chain four. We're up to our corner, so we're going to put a V stitch in the V stitch. Then we're going to go in that chain two space. We're going to put a V stitch, a chain two, and a V stitch. And then we're going to put a V-stitch in the next V-stitch. Now don't mistake this next one for a V-stitch because it's not. That's the chain, let's see, that's a chain four from the previous row. So ignore that. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to go over to our shell. We're going to count to the middle. So one, two, three, four. Go in that middle stitch and put a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Chain four. And continue doing that 
until you get to the end of the row and I will see you at the end of the row. Now I'm at the end of the first row of the two row repeat. I have made my last chain three uh, V-stitch. So now we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go to the last two stitches and we're gonna put a double crochet in each one. Okay, a double crochet in each of the last two. That's one and two. Okay, now chain one and turn. Now we're going on to the second row of the two row repeat. So you just repeat this last row we did and the one we're gonna do now. Put a double crochet into each of those first two stitches. Okay, now we have a chain four, so that means we're going to put a single crochet around that chain four. Then we're going to go directly into our chain three V-stitch and put seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, Seven. Okay, let me let go of this. Okay. Now we have a chain four next, so we're going to put a single crochet around the chain four. Now we have another chain three V-stitch, so put seven double crochets in there. Okay, now we have a chain four, put a single crochet around it. Now we're to our corner. So we're gonna put a V-stitch in that first V-stitch. V stitch in the next V stitch. We're in our chain two space. We'll put a V stitch, chain two, V stitch. V stitch in the next V stitch. And then we'll put a V stitch in the next V stitch. Okay, now we have a chain four. We'll put a single crochet around the chain four. We have our chain three V stitch. We'll put seven double crochets in there. We have a chain four, so we put a single crochet around it. Go to our next chain three V-stitch and put seven double crochets in there. Chain four there, so we're gonna put a single crochet around it. And then we're up to our corners, our V-stitches. So we'll put a V-stitch in the first V-stitch. Put a V-stitch in the next V-stitch. In that chain two space, we put a V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch. In the next 
next V stitch we put a V stitch and in the next V stitch we put a V stitch now we have a chain four we'll put a single crochet around the chain four and then we'll put our seven double crochets in our next chain three V stitch single crochet around the chain four our seven double crochets single crochet around the chain four our seven double crochets single crochet around the chain four put your V stitches in the V stitches in this chain two space put a V stitch chain two V stitch put V stitches in the V stitches and so on and so on and so on and I'll meet you at the end of this row Okay, I'm at the end of repeating the second row of the two row repeats. I've put my single crochet around that chain four, and then I'll put a double crochet into each of the two remaining stitches. Then I'll just get you started on the next row, which is the first row of the two row repeats. Okay, chain one and turn. And put one double crochet into each of the first two stitches. Then we'll chain four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to go into the fourth stitch of our shell. So it's one, two, three, four with a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Then chain four, go in that fourth stitch of our shell, one, two, three, four, and we have a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. And then chain four, and then we're at our, our corner. So then we'll put a V-stitch into the first V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and put a V-stitch into every V-stitch. And the chain two space, you put a V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch, and then next V-stitch, a V-stitch, V-stitch, V-stitch. Chain four and into the fourth stitch you put a double crochet, chain three, double crochet, and then you chain four and so on and so forth. Like it's gonna go and in, grow into a big square. Okay, it's not connected because it's a cardi. But what you're going to do with this is you're gonna take it and fold it like this, okay, and take this other side and fold it. Okay, so now these are your shoulders up here. Your arm comes out here. This is the front where the opening is. And what you're gonna do is just keep working it just the way you've been working it. Um, don't connect it any together anywhere. Just keep working a big square and then you'll try it on. And you wanna be up to a point where the bottom of it just goes just below your girls. All right, and you're going to be ending on the row where we have our chain three V stitch. That'll be the last row you do. And then I'll show you the next step. Okay, now that we've completed that, we will chain one and turn. And now we're going to start the next row just like we were all along, but there's gonna be a ah, little change. All right. So we're going to put a double crochet in the first two stitches. Okay, then we're going to make a single crochet around our chain four. Then we'll go into that chain three of that V stitch with seven double crochets. 
And we'll put a single crochet around our chain four. And then our seven double crochets in the chain three V stitch. And then a single crochet around our chain four. Okay, now here's where things change a little. In your first V stitch, you're going to put seven double crochets. Okay. Okay, there's our shell. In the next V stitch, we're going to put a single crochet. The next V stitch, we'll put a shell, and then we're going to alternate like that. Okay, our shell is seven double crochets. Next V stitch, a single crochet. So keep alternating, and I'll meet you at uh, the, the corner, the point. I've put my last fan and single crochet in. Now I'm at the chain two in that corner. So I'm going to put three double crochets. One, two, three, and then I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to put three double crochets again in that same chain two space. Okay, so that was three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet into our chain two space. All right, then we're going to continue on with our single crochets and our shells. So the next V-stitch, we put a single crochet and then we'll put a shell, am I too close, <laughs> into the next V-stitch. So that's our seven double crochets and then a single crochet in the next uh, V-stitch. And continue on and on and on. And the last stitch you'll do here will be a shell and then a single crochet and then a shell, single crochet around your chain four and a shell, single crochet around your chain four and then a shell. And just keep going like that till the end of the row and I'll see you there. Now we're at the end of our row. We have all our shells in all the way around. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our project to the side and we're just going to make single crochets all the way up. This is the front opening. So we're going to put single crochets around the double crochets. So we need two single crochets to go around our double crochets. So two single crochets around every double crochet all the way up the opening of our project. And then I'll meet you at the top here where our chain is. Okay, now we have a nice edging along the front opening of our projects. And then we're going to go into that chain. That's our starting chain. So we'll go in there with a single crochet. And then I'm going to put another single crochet in that same spot. And then I'll put a single crochet all the way across. This is the, um, the neckline. So single crochet in each chain all the way across. Okay, and then I'll see you at uh, the other side. Now we've put a single crochet into every chain of our starting chain right to the end of it. 
So now I'm going to put another single crochet in the last stitch. So we have two in there. And then I'm going to go around the double crochets on the ends or edges of our rows like we did on the other side and put two single crochets around those double crochets. All the way down, just like we did on the other side. Okay, and I'll see you at the bottom. Okay, now I'm at the bottom. We have these two double crochets there. We need to put two single crochets around that first double crochet. Remember we made two in the beginning of our rows? So I'm going to put two single crochets around that first double crochet. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go into the top of that first double crochet and put a double crochet in there. Okay, and then I'm going to go in the top of the next double crochet and put a double crochet in there. So it's like, like we're starting the row again, but we're gonna do uh, something different, <laughs> but it's easy. Okay, now we have a single crochet. We'll put a single crochet in there. Now we're going to go into the middle of our shell. So that's the fourth stitch in, one, two, three, four, and we're gonna make a shell. So that's seven double crochets. Okay, so that's seven double crochets for our shell, just like before. So we have a shell on top of a shell. Now, I'm gonna put a single crochet into that next single crochet. That's what we'll be doing all the way around, but I wanna stop here. I just want to start this because we need to attach our square with stitch markers. Okay, here's our piece. This is the, the inside of our piece. So what you're going to do is you're gonna take the front flaps and put them towards the middle like that. And then grab the other one, put that against the other flap. So this is the outside of your work. And then you're going to take this corner, that's where you made that chain one, the three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. Take that corner and the one behind it, put them together and hook them with a stitch marker. Okay, so this is, this is your shoulder, this is where your arm comes through. I know it's a big opening, but don't worry. <laughs> I'll show you on the other side just to show you one more time. All right, take your corner where your three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet is, and the corner on the back. Hook them together, or put them together. Put a stitch marker in there. All right, we have them hooked together. So this is where your yarn is attached, and we're going to continue. I'm, I'm just gonna do a few more stitches here to show you. And then I'm going to meet where your corners hook together and show you what to do there. Okay, back to working on our bottom, our border. So we put a single crochet in the single crochet and then we'll put our shell in the fourth stitch. Seven double crochets, just like before. Okay, that's seven. And then we go over to our single crochet over here. Put a single crochet. And just keep alternating and alternating those until we get to where we're hooked together under the arm. I'll meet you there. All right, now I'm up to my stitch marker. The last stitch I put in here is the single crochet. And after we made our shell. So now what I'm going to do is take this stitch marker out. Right. Keep a hold of those chain one spaces. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to take those chain one spaces, one's right here, the other one's right here, and I'm going to put one on top of the other. And then I'm going to make a shell right in the, the right through that 
those two holes, one on top of the other. Just like that. Go right through them. We'll make our shell. Okay, there's our shell. So that is not going to come apart. That's hooked together good. <laughs> okay, so then just go to your single crochet over here and put a single crochet and just continue on making your single crochets and your shells. And connect on the other side the same way you did this one. Okay, we're at the end of the border row. Last stitch I put in was a single crochet into the single crochet and then we have these two double crochets at the end. So we'll put a double crochet into each one. I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet there. Just slip stitch in there. Chain one, pull your yarn out, cut it. Okay, now we have these gaps under our arm. Remember where we put this over at the bottom? Flipped it over like that. Well, we have this gap all the way up to the shoulder, but what I've done is I've tried it on. This is the shoulder, and this is the opening for my arm. I tried it on, and I pinned it where I want to sew this gap together. Okay, so mine is, um, I just, at the top of the shoulder here, I counted, there's two shells together here, so two, four, six, eight, ten, and then I pinned it in the middle of the tenth. Now, your hole might be different than mine, different size, so that's why we need to try it on. And um, so here's the gap. I want to sew this gap together. Now let me show you the other side. I just finished sewing it together. Okay, here it is. And I sewed it from the outside. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Put the yarn on my needle. Okay. Now what I do is I take the section here I need to sew up is from this stitch marker down to here where it's closed already. So I take about four times the length of whatever I'm going to be sewing. Okay, so one two, three, four, maybe a little bit more, but four is, is plenty. I always have extra left over, but not too, too much left over. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start not where my stitch marker is, but I'm going to start over where we had folded over our side here. Okay. I'm going to take this part of the shell here and put it over top of that one. Not all the way, but almost all the way. And, uh, and then we'll do the same thing with the next one, like that. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go from the inside and I'm going to catch Okay, let me see if you can see that. I gotta pull this through. Okay, and I'm just going to catch the loop. See where we have our two loops? I'm just catching the back loop only. Okay, I went over that back loop. And then I'm leaving a long enough tail to sew in on the inside there. And then I'm just gonna go through, just pick a spot to go through to go onto or into the inside. Okay, then I can take this and tie it and then sew that end in later. Now we're going to come back through from the inside and I'm going to catch that loop that's furthest away from us, from these two loops furthest away and then I'm just going to go back into whatever I can find on the other side <laughs> and uh, so that means this front loop is going to to show up and the back loop is going to be hidden where we sewed 
pretty cool, right? <laughs> okay, and we'll just tug it as we go along. So we'll go to the next one. Grab that back loop. You could actually flip your needle onto the inside. It worked better on the couch. And then just pull. <laughs> So I'm going to want to go through every one of those loops and pull them a bit tight here so they don't show. Okay. Go around the next one. That's the single crochet. And just turn your needle. Pull it through on the other side. If you don't have a really sharp needle, that's good. Because what I'm doing is I'm grabbing this tip and I'm pulling by the tip so it doesn't get stuck on the yarn and uh, have to fight with it. I don't like fighting with things. <laughs> okay. Okay, now go in the next one, the far loop, and just flip your needle over, come out on the inside. And you'll be able to see which one you've grabbed last because this one here is still free. So this will be the next one. Okay, now I want to readjust here because I want to go up put that shell on top of this, this other shell. Okay, grab that back loop. Go down into our, our garment with your needle to pull it, lock it into place. Should we do one more? We'll do one more. Grab that back loop, push your needle down, and I grab the tip so it doesn't get stuck on my garment as I pull it out. Okay, and pull your stitches tight. So your stitches aren't going to show. Very cool, right? Okay, I'll see you at the end of the sewing bit. Okay, I'm coming up to the end of where I was sewing. And I'm just going to go like halfway, not the all the way with this last shell, just halfway. You know, right up to where my stitch marker is. I need to put my, <laughs> yeah, kind of violently through that. <laughs> yeah, I just repositioned the shell on top of the other shell. And this will be the last one because I'm only going halfway here. Let's see, is that the last one? Maybe I'll go into the next one. Because I think the next one is the fourth. Yes, that's the fourth stitch. So that'll be the middle stitch. So there we are. Just tie it off. And then we'll go on to the next step. and weave it in. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a drawstring. Now how I measured this drawstring is I, I made a chain using the same hook I was crocheting with, but I've doubled the yarn. 
and I made a chain and I put it around myself under my girls and then I added a foot. We need it long enough to make a bow. Holding two strands together, slip knot on our hook. And then I just made a chain. And the chain that I'm going to make, I've actually made one, <laughs> is 130 chains. That's for me, which is about a size large. All right, so you just make a chain. The length you need. I left a long tail on each end. That's in case you want to add beads. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave it through the bottom. So how I do that is I grab a small uh, pin. Let's see, something like this. Just a safety pin. And I hook it through one of these chains on the end. So where I'm going to put it is right here, the very beginning, I'm going to put it through from the outside to the inside. This is the right side of sweater, bolero, whatever it is. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to pull it like that. And then where we have our shell connected to our other shell in that space there, I'm putting it through there. And then I'm going to go over to the next shell that's connected to the shell above and pull it through there. And this is where my drawstring is going to be. Okay, just weave in and out, in and out. And when you, you get to the side where you've sewn it up, it just goes through this hole. Okay. And then keep going. And as you go along putting your drawstring in, of course, you're going to need to pull it, pull your drawstring It'll, you know, your top will scrunch up as you do that, but you need to pull it to get into, um, to make sure your end is still long enough to weave in and out. And we'll straighten that out after. If you want to add beads, uh, grab a bead, grab a small needle, first of all, with a small eye. Grab a bead that your needle's going to go through like so and I have a thing here that I could pull my yarn through now you don't have to use both uh, yarns you can actually take one and weave it up into your chain and then weave it back on itself and then cut it off and then only have one uh, strand I'm going to see if I can put both strands through this needle, though, just, just to see. All right, so that... Uh, that's gone through. Put your bead on. Pull your needle off and then all you do is you tie a knot as close as you can get to your bead. So you may need two or three knots. Then you can add, um, I don't know, two or three beads if you want. Put one bead on the end of mine and I'll do it on the other side too. And I've made three knots, one on top of the other. And so my bead's secure. And I'll just cut it so there's just a little bit of tail on there. Thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope you like this tutorial. Let me know if you're going to make one of these or two of these. Let me show you how to do a bow, if you don't know, where it's going to have both ears at the top. Do it like that. Instead of going around on your thumb this way, we go around the other way. And then we shove it through. And then we pull our ears like that. And there we go. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Please comment. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share this tutorial. I greatly appreciate all of you. All right. Thank you so much. Bye for now.